His roots were in stage and song. His fame came in khaki. Yes, this Queen of Hearts shows that you're soon to fall in love, Bilko. Don't give me those cards. Phil Silvers as the fast-talking Master Sergeant Ernie Bilko was one of the classics of American television in the 50s, still seen in syndication around the world today. That show, he once claimed, put Milton Berle off the air. Philip Silversmith first worked as a teenage vaudeville singer in 1925. By 1940, Phil Silvers was a veteran of the legitimate stage and screen. Two dozen wartime comedies for Fox, and he appeared in Marilyn Monroe's last movie, which was never released. Bilko ran for just five years, but Broadway and Hollywood kept Silvers busy for decades. The cherubic face with glasses and the distinctive double-talking, wise-cracking voice were a highlight of It's a Mad, 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 Mad World and were widely imitated in real life and cartoons. I don't want to talk about this, but I got it. They got me hemmed in. An admitted compulsive gambler, Silvers hadn't worked much in recent years. Health problems, age, and changing demands among the causes. Six years ago, when he was between jobs, he told a Hollywood reporter, I'm finished with the business, but they'll never take my talent away. A few weeks ago, Silvers told his longtime friend and manager, Al Melnick, he wanted to work again. I sent him a script of the Burt Lancaster, Kirk Douglas picture. They want him in the picture. I said, read it, and if you want to do it, you've got it. He said, I had a relapse. I can't do it. Like I'm so confused, even I can't figure him out. Phil Silvers, dead at age 73. And that's our report for this half hour. Thank you for joining us. I'm Donna Kelly. Around the world every 30 minutes, this is Headline.